Do you have an old laptop or computer which is just sitting there and collecting dust? Are you planning to sell it on eBay but are in two minds because it holds some sentimental values? Then don't do it. My name is Sanish Gavas and welcome to the 8-Bit Goal. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use your old laptop as a powerful media server device. Let's call this laptop which we are talking about as a media server. So the idea here is that you could have this media server connected to your network and would be in one location with all your uh, media like your TV shows, your movies and it should be able to wirelessly share your uh, movies and data uh, across your house. Uh, probably to your Android TVs, your Android phones, your Android boxes, um, other systems if you have. So this is the entire concept of you know using a media server in your um, house. Provided your all your other devices are connected to that one network. So the steps which are required for you to create your own media server, I would be displaying on this laptop screen so that it becomes easier for you guys to follow. So let's go ahead and switch to the laptop screen. The first thing which we want to do here is to make sure that we have uh, UPnP, that's Universal Plug and Play, enabled on our network. And how we do that is by actually uh, going to our uh, router's homepage and uh, enabling it. Now this might differ uh, in the router's homepage from a modem to modem but uh, the way we go to the modem is the router's homepage is by uh, actually finding out our default gateway IP address and we can do that by typing in ipconfig all ipconfig slash all in cmd or command prompt and we will be getting our default um, gateway uh, IP address. So I just punch in 192.168.0.1 and I'll be prompted to enter a password which usually is password itself unless you've changed it. Nobody really changes it but uh, yeah. Here's the D-Link page and this is for DIR816 modem. Uh, this is the default uh, modem which Airtel provides. I think even ACT provides this but uh, if you have a different modem then uh, your interface might look different. And to ch enable uh, um, UPnP, um, I need to go to Advanced uh, Advanced tab. It might differ uh, from um, your um, modem homepage. So that is something which you need to find out. And if you see, uh, the third tab is UPnP. So I just click on it and I see it's already enabled. So that's about it. I don't uh, need to do anything more. It's enabled and I'm good to go. Uh, the second thing which I need to just to let you guys know that uh, it's always good practice to keep all your media files in one drive. I've kept it in G drive. So it would be a best practice if you keep all these uh, your images, your movies and your TV shows in one drive. And that would you know uh, help out uh, the software to actually sync everything uh, with your media content. So that would be easy for you know the overall process so I don't need the CMD prompt I'll just close that and uh, next up is actually downloading the uh, software itself and the name of the software is Kodi and that's K-O-D-I and uh, this is an open source home theater software which actually is going to help us out a lot actually this is the entire software which we are going to run to uh, enable uh, the media sharing uh, on this laptop so um, this is the home page and uh, um, if you want you can download the Windows or iOS if you're using an Apple uh, computer uh, Android basically you can download from Play Store uh, I'll show you in just a minute uh, how it looks on Android and also we have Raspberry Pi as well so I would just click on Windows and uh, now, once I click on that, I would be prompted to, it will be downloaded directly and it's on my desktop. So I'll just click on that and I will install it. So installation, uh, it doesn't matter. You want to keep it on your C drive, D drive, it doesn't matter. You just install it uh, like you normally would in, uh, for any kind of software. So I'll just forward the installation part. And uh, once we're done with that, um, 
we shall go ahead and run Cody for the first time. And uh, that I just say run Cody and I'll just finish that. So Cody would run for the first time and uh, this is how it would look. And this is basically um, the interface of Cody. I'm not going to change anything. Uh, there are a couple of things I would do before um, I actually import movies in Kodi uh, and if you remember we had enabled a universal plug and play on our network so we need to enable plug and play on um, Kodi it's itself so I would go to uh, services I'm sorry I would go to settings and from settings I would go to services and in that way I can enable um, uh, universal plug and play service settings I just go to service setting and okay, just go to service setting again uh, and I would go to you know yeah UPNP DLNA and I just check everything is enabled okay device name is Cody so that's the name which is going to show up port name is 80 that really doesn't matter but UPNP this is something important which you need to keep in mind and you just enable that and that's about it for the enabling universal plug and play on Cody. The second thing which I would do is download an add-on. Add-ons are basically uh, third-party softwares uh, which actually uh, change the look and feel of the interface. Now, if you see, uh, there is information providers, game add-ons, and multiple things. So I just would want to download one um, artwork um, which is universal movie scraper and uh, this is for the movies it's going to just make sure that i have all my movies um, you know, with the thumbnail with the trailer with the information of uh, uh, the premise of the movie etc so it will just display and it would look really really nice so what i'll do next is i would start importing movies right movies and my tv shows on Cody. so let me just go to uh, movies, I'll go to add videos, I'll go to browse, I'll go to D drive and I'll go to movies, All right? so I have English, uh, Hindi and home videos so I'll just click OK and the name of the movie is uh, the media source is movies obviously and I'll say OK uh, this directory contains it contains movies, so I'll make the change there and uh, select movies. Uh, choose information provider like we downloaded Universal Scraper, so I'll click on that, so I'll get the latest content, and it keeps getting updated uh, as and when uh, you know, people keep changing. This is third party; it's an open source, so people keep uploading uh, fan art, etc. So this might take now some time because it's going to scan rigorously and it's going to keep adding uh, you know, thumbnails, information about different movies and TV shows. So if you see, um, it's already uh, getting some information on a few movies here and there. Um, and I'll just come back once everything is set up. So this is how Cody will look once uh, everything is set up. Um, if you look, go into movies, you can directly enter movies and we would be greeted with what all movies we have. If you have like a collection now, for example, Step Up, um, you know, there are four parts, five parts to it, it's clubbed them together. So that also can be done. And uh, left hand side, you'll have um, kind of a premise of the movie. Um, and right hand side, you have a thumbnail, and the background will have a fan art kind of thing. So that's how it looks um, and it makes everything look much better. Same thing applies for TV shows as well. Um, if you go into Family Guy, um, you get um, different different thumbnails for different shows. So yeah, so this is how it looks. Um, once everything is set up, um, I'll quickly show you how you can uh, access this on your cell phone or your Android devices just in a moment. So once we have Kodi installed on our phones, we'll just go ahead and open it. If you look, uh, the interface and the look and feel of Kodi on the cell phone is very similar to the uh, to the interface on uh, the computer itself. 
so it's really really simple so right now we'll go ahead and add the server go to movies uh, add videos and hit browse and we should see something known as uh, UPnP devices so we'll go ahead and click on that and they will see uh, the name of a server which is Kodi and followed by the name of your uh, system so right now the name of the system is Saish 8 bit Cohen and if you go in videos I'll select movies uh, and I'll select titles because I want the movies to be sorted out by the name of the movie itself so there we go now we should see a server and when we click on it we should see all the movies which are listed on our server and if I play any of the movie listed it should play without any kind of problem so this works really fine. I absolutely love the idea that you have your system sitting in one place or in your house and you can watch all these movies wirelessly uh, on in your living room, in your bedroom, in the kitchen, you know, wherever you can take your mobile devices. Uh, next you see is uh, this is my TV which is connected to an Android box and it works just fine. So that's how you set up your media server guys. If you liked it, uh, like this video if you guys didn't like it let me know in the comment section uh, why you guys didn't like it uh, for any reason if you are stuck on any particular step then let me know I will try to help you out here um, subscribe to the channel if you think this has potential and uh, we are still about 42 subscribers in so that's still uh, we're still growing and uh, thank you so much for all your support and all your views definitely helps the channel to grow um, that's about it from my end guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. You guys have a great one. Take care.